Number 10, Scimitar cat bone. Right off the hop, there've only been a few Scimitar cat fossils found in history, period. So already, this is a good one, right? We love rare finds. I'm into Pokemon Go, so this is like, oh, a Scimitar cat bone. Nice, add that to the collection. The Homotherium latidens lives again. Back in 2011, a bone of the beast was found on a Dominion Creek mining site right next to Dawson City in Yukon. Yeah, you wanna make fun of Canadians for living in the cold? Well, joke's on you, pal. We have frozen Scimitar cat bones. Yeah, in your face. In your face. Researchers at Copenhagen sequenced its genome and its parents were only distantly related. So this was a rare cat while it was alive, let alone found frozen 47,000 years later in 2011. We love it. Number nine, the oldest ice on the planet. They say you're as cold as ice, but never as old as ice. Let's change that, let's make a new phrase. Why not? Scientists are digging up ice in Antarctica. There's pretty much nothing else to dig up, so obviously. Millions of years of ice hides in there, so there's of course millions of ancient secrets. John Higgins, a geochemist at Princeton, believes that there's five million year old ice still intact. And I wanna lick it. I wanna see what it tastes like, you know what I mean? Just ready to probe. Weird to say that and then immediately the probe thing. Let's, we'll do one or the other. Lick ice and then probe it. I'm like, who is this guy? One group is claiming to have found eight million years old ice, but climatologist Eric Wolf from the University of Cambridge Cambridge says, my attitude is that I accept that it's old ice. I don't know if it's exactly 8 million, but I accept that it's old ice. Yeah, scientists are beefing about Ice Age, not the movies, like the age of the, you get it. There've been way too many of those movies, eh? It's like seven now. Number eight, frozen bird. Back in 2018, an extremely well-preserved bird was found in northeastern Siberia, near the village of Balayagora. The bird itself was quite hidden, which explains its incredible preservation. It was found 150 meters into an ice tunnel, and the fascinating thing here, other than of course, you know, oh my God, a mummified bird, is that it looks like it died a week ago, right? If I found this, I wouldn't look twice, to be honest. I'd be like, ugh. I'm gonna keep walking, you know, one of those? This bird froze 48,000 years ago. It's a long time, he's been dead. RIP, RIP a thousand times, my little dude. Studying the bird's DNA has given researchers insight on the end of the last ice age. We love it, we love new info in the shape of dirty old birds. Nice. Number seven, ice worms. This is the Dune sequel you didn't know you wanted. Here we go. Around 24,000 years ago, these rotifers, or real creatures, or ice worms, they live in freshwater environments. They've been on our planet for millions of years, so it was only a matter of time before they came back to life. Yeah, that's their secret, Cap. They're immortal. Researchers have been studying these little guys for a while, and in the past, they found that modern rotifers could freeze and then come back to life 10 years later. Yeah, a, a microscopic worm with a buzz saw as a mouth can come back to life. The more you know. Hit that thumbs up on Most Amazing Top 10. I'm so scared. A year ago, these Ice Age worms were found 12 feet deep under permafrost in Siberia's Alizea River. These ones came back to life after 24,000 years. Must be some tuck everlasting water around them or something. I don't know. They're built different. Number six, viruses. Before we get into the mummified mammoth cubs, we gotta talk about some concerning finds, of course. Just over a year ago in China, scientists discovered ancient viruses. These samples came from the Tibetan Plateau and these samples were originally collected back in 2015. The contents, however, they date back to around 14,400 years ago, long before Captain America went into the ice. This is some ancient stuff right here. So dust, gases, and of course viruses over that long accumulate and glaciers just, they just soak it all in layer after layer just growing getting bigger and stronger well not necessarily anymore but you get it that is until scientists come in with a few mega drills now we're finding dinosaurs and it's fascinating except for you know when you find 33 ancient viruses in the ice we don't like that yeah 33 viruses that's like two more than my family computer had growing up that's a lot of viruses four of these viruses typically infect bacteria and the rest were novel which means that it's never been seen before how neat is that? Novel viruses. Just what the world needs, right? Oh, God. Number five, preserved wolf pup. This little lady went into the ice 57,000 years ago. I bet she had no idea she'd ever see the sun again until now. Here we go. Discovered in Yukon, Canada, Zur is the most complete wolf mummy that has ever been found in history, ever. She's incredibly intact. She was discovered in 2016 by a gold miner while they were blasting water at frozen mud. They thought it was treasure, but really it was just this little shiny lady instead. She's quite old to us, but when she went into the ice, x-rays tell us she was only six weeks old. It's pretty sad. X-rays also showed that she loved fish. She had a belly full of fish. She was eating good until she froze. Sad. 
Number four, underneath Thwaites Glacier. We've seen some fascinating stuff here on Most Amazing Top 10, specifically underwater footage. I can't do that, but they love giving me those lists. I get nice and anxious doing those ones. This is footage from the bottom of an Antarctic glacier. This is incredible. This is something we shouldn't have been able to see in our lifetime. This glacier is the size of Florida, okay? So if it collapses, our sea levels could rise 10 feet. So yeah, let's drill a hole through the middle and see what happens. We love it, all in the name of science. This was back in 2019. Researchers drilled 2,300 feet through the Thwaites Glader and dropped a robot with a camera down. This is the first time in history we've seen the grounding zone of Thwaites Glacier. Lead scientist Brittany Schmidt says this project is a dream come true. It's her walking on the moon moment. There's only one meter of space between the bottom of the glacier and the rocky seafloor. So you're seeing the bottom of a continent, basically, like in Smash Bros, the very bottom of that floating arena. That's it, right here, underwater. I'm so scared. I feel so small looking at this. Would you swim underneath it, Chris? No, I wouldn't either. I would do this and then go back through that. Yo, it's deep too and it's like, literally like it's like a triangle at the bottom and it's like the, you see the ocean floor is like right there. I'm like, this is actually really scary. It gets my heart going. I can't do this I'm Afraid of lakes and fish and ghosts. Number three, Europa Cryobot. We've talked about Jupiter's moon on this channel often for some reason. Apparently there's a lot of going on up there. But now we found traces of water on the icy shell of the moon, which is fascinating in general because water in space, I mean, hello, have you seen Alien or Aliens or any movie in space? The part that really has NASA's attention here is the tectonic activity beneath the icy shell, meaning that somewhere in the middle, there could be warm water flowing. Yeah, there's a spa, you could just flow. There's a lazy river on this moon, we love it. One of the only ways to get under that thick shell of ice and find out what's really going on is Valkyrie. Yeah, not the superhero from Thor. She's a cryobot that NASA created specifically for this mission. Yeah, a little pricey, but she's doing the trick. This machine is capable of melting through layers and layers of ice. A prototype was tested recently in Alaska and the results were promising, because you know, it, was, it worked, so yeah. This cryobot is capable of crawling through eight kilometers of ice a year. So while we do tests here on Earth, we're just gonna keep finding more fascinating mummies or disgusting scary things like viruses. What are the two? It's science, hey, we're doing our best. Number two, Project Iceworm. This one has no actual worms in it. Just so you know, that was the gross one up there. This is more of a government one. Here we go. As a Canadian, this secret project sounds like the worst one on this list. Ah, oh, it's so cold. I'm sick of the cold. Had it. Back in the 1960s, under the Greenland ice sheet, the US Army started to build mobile nuclear missile launch sites. Yeah, code name was Project Iceworm. And now we're still finding a whole bunch of gadgets and bad stuff there. So it's, they didn't do a great job cleaning up. The idea here with the project is that they would be close enough they could hit targets within the Soviet Union, right? That was the whole point. This project was called Project Iceworm, but there was also another project, a little secret one, called Camp Sentry. This one had to be done first. Camp Sentry was a network of underground tunnels and places for workers to stay, like a kitchen, a hall, supply rooms, communication centers, all good stuff like that. There's also a nuclear power plant, and this was kept from the Danish government for seven years. So yeah, some secret nuclear activity. We always got to talk about that on Most Amazing Top 10. Back in 1966, the project was canceled because of shifting ice. Or was it? There's still some activity going on over there. No one knows what's up. Thought I'd get that in your ear before we do our big bad number one. Here we go. And finally, coming in at number one, preserved mammoth cub. In 2010, a mummified mammoth cub was discovered in Siberia, right off the coast of Oyogos. Named after a nearby village, Yuka, the newfound cub is now the best preserved mammoth discovered in history. This was a fascinating find that should have never been seen again, let alone seen in such great condition. Guy looks like he was in Ice Age, like the movie Ice Age. He looks great. But that's not the end for the woolly mammoth. No, it was a announced only months ago that a team of scientists and entrepreneurs over at a company called Colossal are planning to bring the Colossal Woolly Mammoth back to life. Here we go. Imagine driving and you see one of these crossing the street, you're like, I guess we'll wait. The last mammoth to walk on the planet was alive around 10,500 years ago. But what if they were alive today? What's the whole point, right? Why are we doing this? Colossal raised over $15 million and they're now working on reviving the woolly mammoth to ideally decelerate the melting of the Arctic permafrost and to ideally save modern elephants from extinction. And of course, to advance CRISPR editing because you know, we can, why not? Hey, let's bring this back to life because CRISPR editing, the classic CRISPR. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have Molly virus. Back in 2015, French researchers discovered a gigantic virus that they found in a sample of Siberian permafrost. This spherical DNA virus wasn't just any old virus. No, this one was about 30,000 years old. For the virus to survive that long, frozen in ice truly is remarkable and also absolutely terrifying. There is good news, however, it is said that although some refer to this virus as a behemoth, it is said that the new discovery only infects amoebas, which means that it is unlikely to ravage the planet. And 
anytime soon, at least we hope. In our number nine spot today, we have Lake Vostok. Many of us have heard of Atlantis, but have you heard of Lake Vostok? This lake is located in Antarctica and it is so huge, it's one of the largest lakes in the entire world. The lake not only has a large surface area, but it's also quite deep, which only adds to the volume of the lake. It's like the lakiest lake out there, and here's the thing about it. It is covered by ice, and not just any ice, but the East Antarctic Ice Sheet, which is just the largest ice sheet in the world. This subglacial lake has ice so thick that we don't really know a lot about what lies beneath it, and the ice has been there for millions of years. But when the first samples of the actual lake water were taken, it became apparent that there may be species in the lake that we know absolutely nothing about. In our number eight spot today, we have the female mummy. Back in 2017, there was a mummy found in Siberia that absolutely rocked the scientific community. This discovery was so remarkable because deep within the permafrost, close to the Arctic Circle, they found the mummified remains of a woman who was roughly 900 years old. Said to have come from the medieval times, this marked the first woman to be discovered in that area, as previously it had been mostly men. It appears as though the mummification part was accidental, but it was quite a surprise to researchers who had thought that they wouldn't find a woman's remains in the area at all. It is said that all of the bodies found in this area belonged to a hunting and fishing civilization, and this discovery gave experts very valuable insight into their lives and the times in which they lived. In our number seven spot today, we have Mount Erebus. Mount Erebus is the highest active volcano in Antarctica, as well as the southernmost active volcano on Earth. Got a lot going on. The volcano has been active for 1.3 million years, and it features a lava lake in the inner summit crater that's been present since the early 1970s. You might be thinking, uh, it's a volcano, which surely is like the opposite of ice, right? But as it turns out, this volcano is like the definition of fire and ice. Here you can be sure to find numerous ice fumaroles, which are ice towers that form around the gases that are released or that escape from the vents on the surface. This creates a perfect home, not for many, but for some persevering and adaptable bacteria and fungi. This gives scientists quite the opportunity to study these organisms that can live in this extreme environment that doesn't really provide a lot of resources. In our number six spot today, we have the Iceman. The mummy of Otzi, who is also referred to as the Iceman, was found in 1991 in the Otzel Alps in Italy. It is believed that Otzi lived around 3000 BC and his body became mummified and preserved because of the glacier that surrounded him post-mortem. While this is an incredibly interesting discovery, the finding of Otzi may have come in a package with an old curse just waiting to be released. Here's the thing, the people who helped with the discovery of Otzi are all dying under mysterious circumstances. I mean, it is said that there were seven deaths in one year alone, so if there is a curse, it's clearly a pretty strong one. It's almost as if disturbing a man who's been in the same spot for 53 centuries wasn't the best idea that anyone's ever had. In our number five spot today, we have Europa. We are going off planet for this one. One of Jupiter's moons, called Europa, has a red tinge to it, and in 2001, NASA scientists revealed that it's possible that alien microbes might be responsible for this red color. The surface of this moon is mostly ice, but it has been shown that it reflects infrared radiation in a really bizarre way. This means that something is binding it together, but researchers haven't been able to come up with the correct combination of elements and compounds to make the data make sense. There are some bacteria on Earth that can thrive in extreme conditions that also have that red and brown color, which could potentially be responsible for the color on this moon. The surface temperature might be too cold cold for them to survive, but the warmer interior might be where they are located. Some geological activity on the moon could then push them closer to the surface, where they are then flash frozen in place. In our number four spot today, we have P38. In 2018, a team of researchers were using a drone with ground penetrating radar technology when they found something that no one could have predicted. 300 feet deep in the Greenland ground, encased in ice, was a World War II plane. This P38 lightning fighter plane is actually just one out of eight that were a squadron. This P-38 Lightning fighter plane was actually just one out of eight that were part of a squadron. This group had all been lost and had crash landings after a blizzard on July 15th, 1942. After locating the fighter plane, researchers were able to then excavate it, but there still remains at least four in this squadron that have yet to be located. In our number three spot today, we have Skeleton Lake. Also sometimes referred to as Mystery Lake, this place is exactly what it sounds like. It's a lake and there's a bunch of skeletons there. Located in the Himalayas, this lake freezes over in the winter months, but when the snow melts, there are various skeletons around the site that become visible around the edges of the lake. There have been many speculations as to how these people died, and at one point it was thought that 
these remains were a result of a pretty legendary event where all in a single group they were killed by a large and violent hailstorm, but the leading theory has since changed. Now it is said that the remains actually belong to three distinctly different groups who all died in separate events. At this point the real story of what happened here may just remain a mystery that has left us with a haunting image. In our number 2 spot today we have Luba. This is the name that was given to a baby mammoth. Mummified remains were found frozen and extremely well preserved in ice. Luba would have roamed the earth about 48,000 years ago which is truly incredible to think about. These mammoth remains were found in 2007 but it was actually a complete accident. The remains were found by a hunter who was out on a frozen peninsula in Russia. But here's where the story takes a bit of a crazy turn. So the man who discovered these remains didn't want to touch her because of a cultural belief that touching a mammoth would cause a bad omen, so he traveled to a nearby town to consult a friend and this is when they decided to contact the authorities. The authorities then flew out to the area to collect the remains, but when they arrived, she had disappeared. The person who found her knew that someone had likely taken her to try and turn a profit, so he began doing some investigations. Long story short, they found the remains outside of a local store and this is when it was revealed to them that the guy who had found the remains initially, his cousin had stolen them and brought them here in exchange for two snowmobiles. In the end, there was unfortunately minor damage to the body that included dogs having chewed off her right ear, but still the find and discovery was still incredible and she was transported to a museum where she continues to give people a look into a time on earth long ago. In our number one spot today we have the Incan mummy. 20,000 feet above sea level on the edge of a volcano, researchers were startled to find a woman frozen in ice. This Incan mummy is said to have been so well preserved that she even still had lice in her hair. The researchers and doctors who examined her after her discovery were completely baffled at how well preserved she was, so much so that some of her features reminded them of a living, breathing human being, even down to the extremities. It truly was just remarkable. It is believed that this woman likely met her fate where she was found as a result of sacrifice. Because of her well preserved nature, scientists were able to determine that she was suffering from quite a few ailments, including tuberculosis, which some believe is the reason why she was sacrificed. All right, guys. Number 10, dinosaur. When it comes to big things, dinosaurs were pretty damn big. Scientists were able to uncover the fossilized remains of a new and unknown species of dinosaur underneath the ice sheets in Greenland. When the dinosaurs were alive, the earth was a lot warmer and more tropical, these fossils becoming trapped under the ice when the climate changed into the ice age. The skull they found is thought to be a two-legged plant-eating dinosaur of medium size, and they dubbed the new species Issy Sinik. The dinosaur is believed to have grown to the size of 10 to 30 feet, and the skull they found is thought to be that of a younger dinosaur that had not fully grown yet. They used computer technology to create 3D scans of the head before sending the specimens to the Natural History Museum in Denmark as they have sovereignty over the country of Greenland. It is the first known dinosaur to have been native to Greenland and is thought to come from the late Triassic period around 200 million years ago. Number 9. Bison The massive carcass of a bison known as a steppe bison was found by a gold mining family in Alaska way back in 1979. They were using a mining hose and were melting a frozen block of ice, effectively thawing out the creature that had become trapped inside. The bison species is from the ice age and the body that they found is thought to be tens of thousands of years old. Once they were finally able to fully excavate the body, they found other things alongside it, including hair, insects, wood, and different plants. When the pelt of the animal reacted to the soil around it, it turned the body blue, and so the bison ended up being dubbed Blue Babe. Analysis of the body showed it had died 36,000 years ago, a result of being attacked by an Ice Age lion. The ice allowed the creature to be incredibly well preserved, scientists even being able to find pockets of blood in the body. Number 8. Cave Bear This specimen found on an island in the Arctic was a very unique discovery, said to be one of the first of its kind. Researchers found a well-preserved body of a cave bear that was around 40,000 years old. Cave bears would grow to be around 7 feet long and typically weighed over 1,000 pounds in their adulthood. Before this discovery was made, they only knew about the animal from skulls and bones and had never found a specimen that was this fully preserved. The body that they found had all of its organs still and even still had its nose on its face, paired with its terrifyingly massive sharp teeth. 
According to one of Russia's leading Ice Age experts, the discovery of the body was of world importance and is the first and only find of its kind. The body was found by a group of reindeer herders on the island and was then sent around to various scientists to study the life of the animal. Number 7. Horned Lark Alright, some of these creatures aren't that big, but they're still pretty interesting, and pff, size doesn't matter anyways. In 2018, fossil hunters were in the northeastern part of Siberia, known as the Pole of Cold, and they were tunneling into the permafrost. Deep underground, they discovered the body of a bird thought to be around 46,000 years old. But it was incredibly well preserved and scientists say that it looks like it could have only died a few days ago. Researchers believe that it is the ancestor of the horned lark bird and is the first of its kind to have ever been discovered. It is also said to be one of the best preserved specimens ever discovered as it was almost completely intact and still had all of its parts. The ice age that took place is thought to have generated many new species who adapted and this is one of them. Siberia is home to a lot of frozen discoveries due to its freezing cold temperatures and who knows what else is sitting in the ice just waiting to be found. Number 6. Wolf the Pleistocene era, or Ice Age, lasted from about 2 million to 11,000 years ago, and many great extinct creatures we've discovered come from this era. One of these discoveries was the head of a massive Ice Age era wolf that was still snarling 40,000 years after it had died. It was found in a cold region of Russia and is one of the first full sized frozen wolves ever to be discovered. They found it in the summer of 2018 and it was described as having mammoth like fur, sharp fangs, and was between the ages of 2 and 4 when it passed away. Because only the head was discovered, it only gave small clues towards the evolution of wolves and how they have changed and adapted over the years, but researchers were still able to reconstruct the head using 3D models and get a solid understanding of what these Ice Age wolves looked like. In fact, the specimen was so well preserved that it even still had parts of its brain. Number 5. Lion Cubs as I've mentioned before, Siberia is a place that is fairly popular for finding frozen specimens, and this time they didn't just find one animal, but instead two matching ones. They found two mummified cave lions that lived during the Ice Age around 30,000 years ago, giving them the names Sparta and Boris. They were found in 2017 and 2018 by mammoth tusk collectors, and one of the cubs was believed at the time to be the best preserved Ice Age animal ever found. It was originally thought that the two cubs they discovered were siblings, being only a few months old at the time of their death, but research showed that Boris had actually died about 15,000 years before Sparta. Sparta still had her fur, teeth, skin, organs, and even her whiskers, looking like she may have only recently died despite being a part of a species that went extinct over 10,000 years ago. If given the chance to grow up, the cubs would have managed to grow to 5 feet long and weigh almost a thousand pounds. Number 4. Sharks Creatures that are found frozen in ice don't always actually come from the Ice Age. There are plenty of cold places right now where animals can unfortunately become trapped, or pass away and then freeze. In Cape Cod, Massachusetts, it has become startlingly common for giant sharks to become frozen in the ice off the coast. A few years ago, they found a total of four different sharks that had all become frozen in the ice and passed away. The sharks were apparently becoming trapped in shallow waters during changing weather conditions, and sudden cold snaps would cause them to freeze and die. The thresher sharks that were commonly becoming trapped were apparently not a very well studied species, so the bodies that were found were taken and thawed in order to be dissected and researched. The Atlantic White Shark Conservancy even went so far to refer to the specimens as sharksicles, but probably not something you'd want to eat on a hot day in the summer. Number 3. Mummies Human remains are usually found when archaeologists dig up large graves and find skeletons, but in a rare case they manage to find the well-preserved and mummified body of a woman. A group of hikers exploring an Argentinian volcano found the body of a woman who appeared to have died around 500 years ago. The body was well preserved due to the incredibly high and cold elevation at which it was found. 
It's believed that the body was there as part of an ancient sacrificial ritual, and the woman, named the Inca Ice Maiden, was sacrificed. She was given lots of food and drink before being led up the volcano, where she was left to die of exposure. The discovery of her body was also incredibly important because from samples they took, they were able to discover that she was fighting tuberculosis. And these sorts of samples can help us work towards fighting these diseases in the modern day. Number 2. Full in the summer of 2018, they found what they called the best preserved ice age animal ever found. Feels like they say that a lot. Anyways, mammoth tusk hunters in Siberia found the body of an around 42,000 year old horse foal, incredibly well preserved thanks to the cold temperatures. They say that it was only about two weeks old at the time of its death, and they were able to extract both blood and urine samples from it. The discovery apparently pushed scientists closer to the hope that they could bring these extinct creatures like mammoths back to life. I think we should listen to Jurassic Park's warnings and just deal with the animals we actually have right now. I know you might be thinking that a baby horse isn't some terrifying giant ice age creature, but full grown horses are pretty big, okay, and they're actually kind of terrifying. I mean they basically walk on one giant finger. It's creepy and I don't like it. Number 1. Baby Mammoth During the Ice Age, mammoths were one of the biggest creatures around, basically being massive furry elephants. This young woolly mammoth specimen was found in, you guessed it, Siberia. This incredibly well preserved body of a young female woolly mammoth named Yuka is said to have lived around 28,000 years ago and they were discovered around a decade ago. Due to her good condition, scientists were eager to conduct experiments and one of those was taking cells from her body. When they put the cells together, they found that they were still active, even almost 30,000 years later, so they managed to technically revive Yuka in a way. At full size, woolly mammoths were usually around 13 feet tall and would weigh around 13,000 pounds, or the same as around 26,000 large oranges if that helps you picture it. Number 10. The Missing Link According to a study posted by Cardiff University, scientists think they have finally found the missing link that foreshadows the Ice Age and it's a little too real. What did they know before? Well, scientists knew that ice age cycles developed due to periodic changes in the Earth's orbit. The small variations in solar energy set off massive shifts in Earth's climate. But how remained a mystery? Well, now scientists think it has everything to do with the melting of the icebergs. Ha ha ha. Well, isn't that interesting? When the Earth is in the right position and icebergs begin to melt away from Antarctica, immense volumes of fresh water move into the Atlantic Ocean away from the Southern Ocean. Therefore, the Southern Ocean gets saltier and massive changes in circulation patterns pull CO2 out of the atmosphere. We know that the less CO2 in the atmosphere, the colder the temperature will be as it reduces the greenhouse effect. Therefore, Earth moves towards ice age conditions. Now I think we can be a little more scared of the ice caps melting. Number 9. Lion Cubs Lion Cubs in ice? Well yes, yes indeed. The world is strange and wonderful and it was once covered in a lot of ice. Unyan and Dina were the first cave lions to be found and another was found more recently in Yakutia, Russia. Both sets of remains date back to the Ice Age around 12,000 years ago. The species uncovered went extinct 10,000 years ago, and these poor babies died in a really, really sad way. Either their mother died or abandoned them, and the newest cub is so well preserved that you can see how it went to sleep with its little head resting on their paw. They also found two other cave lions, Boris and Sparta, in the same area, both perfectly preserved and 18,000 years apart. These two little cubs also helped establish the appearance of cave lions without manes. But the most exciting thing about the remains is that it could be used for cloning now that we've completed the genome. Interesting. Number 8. A wolf head. The wolves we have now are pretty massive, but imagine how big their ancestors must have been. Pavel Efimov was searching for mammoth tusks in Siberia, Russia, when he made an unexpected discovery the head of an Ice Age wolf, perfectly preserved. Its hair, teeth, brain, and ears are fully intact after over, huh, can't believe this, after 40,000 years frozen in the permafrost. These massive creatures were a little over twice the size of modern day wolves and could crush bones. 
foam with their jaws. Definitely not the most friendly of creatures. It would have been a full grown wolf when it died, but it wasn't killed by humans. Why was the head separated from the body then? Well, scientists believe that it died originally intact, but with the melting and shifting and cracking of the ice, probably separated them. The most exciting part is that now scientists will be able to study the evolution of the modern day wolf. Number seven, disease. I think we've talked about this on the channel before, but here we are again. In August 2016, 21 people were mysteriously infected by anthrax. This is just one terrifying discovery that scientists have made beneath the ice. Researchers are concerned that some of the world's most deadly viruses are trapped beneath the permafrost from the ice age. And based on this event, they don't seem to be wrong. Not only are they worried about the potential resurfacing of the bubonic plague or smallpox, but something even bigger. Something we may not even have heard of yet. Due to the rapid rate of the ice melting, it is only a matter of time before we figure this out the hard way. We've survived one pandemic. Is another waiting beneath the ice one layer away from revival? I really hope not. Number six, giant animals. Considering we have started this list off talking about a lot of animals, it seems to make sense that we highlight a theme here. Ever wonder what it would be like to live in the ice age? <laughs> Me neither, except for maybe right now, because it's boiling right now. Oh, it's so hot. Never mind. Way too hot. We're just gonna take this off. Ironically, it's way too hot in the studio today, so here we are. Why? Because everything was so much bigger and even imagining that terrifies me. Megafauna were large, oversized animals that lived around the time of the Ice Age. In fact, it was their playground. Not only was there, of course, the woolly mammoth, but massive saber-toothed tigers, short-faced bears, and of course, the above, massive dire wolves. Plus, you can almost guarantee they were always hungry with food being so scarce. I wonder if people will look back in like a thousand years from now and think about how small our animals are. But believe me, from giant wombats that could be mistaken for bison to killer birds, not a place we would want to live. But they also had some unique survival skills. For instance, the Ice Age rhino was believed to have a hat, a shovel horn, to help remove snow. That's kind of neat. Number five, human revival. Now, considering all the technology we have today, unless we have a day after the tomorrow kind of situation, if we have another ice age, we might be okay. Might. But I am pretty optimistic because Homo sapiens were able to survive the ice age, so why not we? Despite not being hairy or thick skinned, they were resourceful and inventive, relying on traps to catch their dinner. The hunting tools they had would have been limited to stones, knives, and arrowheads. Anything more complicated would have been really, really, really rare. So instead, they used traps, and this is where it would get kind of gruesome. Once their prey would fall prey to whatever traps were sent, the men would surround the injured creature and maul it to death. Hey, when you're hungry, you're hungry. And in a dog eat dog world, it's a privilege to care about how you will kill your next meal. Number four, mammoth house. What do you do when you don't have bricks and mortar? Well, you build a house out of, um, bones that you just find lying around. Yeah. According to an article posted in 2020, Russian archaeologists found a massive circle made of the bones of Ice Age creatures. The bones are from creatures that lived over 20,000 years ago. Not only are there five dozen mammoths, but reindeer, horses, bears, wolves, red and arctic foxes. And this isn't the only circle like it. There are around 70 Ice Age bone circles in 25 sites in Ukraine and Russia. Some of the bones were still joined together, which meant that they still had meat on their bones when they were added. In the middle, there are wooden poles that were presumably used to support roofs made of animal hides. There is still speculation as to whether they were used for homes, ritual, or storage buildings, but still, a house of bones sounds odd to us, I know, but imagine having to withstand cold without the tech we have now. Ah, <sighs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Number three, mini ice ages. Did you know that we may get a mini ice age before we get a really big one? Like a test run, kind of, if you will. Though they aren't as deadly, they can still cause widespread famine and disease due to failed crops. The last recorded mini ice age happened between the 12th and 14th century, peaking from 1500 to 1850. It mostly took place in the Northern hemisphere of Europe where seas would freeze repeatedly and glaciers would crush whole villages. This happened quite often in places like Switzerland. But even worse, just like in Game of Thrones, they would go whole years, whole years without summer. No thank you. No one quite knows what caused this tiny ice age, but scientists have a couple of ideas. One, that it had something to do with volcanic activity and that it had an effect on the solar energy the earth was receiving. Whatever the reason, it definitely provides yet another explanation as to why the Middle Ages were just so sad. So sad. Number two, more CO2 is a good thing? 
Hmm. Considering the first point on this list, we know that less CO2 in the atmosphere will lead to colder temperatures, which could mean ice ice baby. But considering the very, very real concept of global warming and the fact that we are injecting so much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, could that mean we will stave off an ice age. Well, scientists think this might be so. While we definitely need to figure out how to control our output so other problems don't arise, it could help fight off the next ice age. Right? Weird. There's an upside to everything. According to Cambridge University, although the planetary cycle makes an ice age inevitable, like the seasons, the only way it can happen is if the CO2 level is too low. At this point, we have pumped so much CO2 into the air that even if it all stopped tomorrow, we would still have enough to keep an ice age at bay for at least a thousand years. However, if we keep going the way we're going, well, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I'm like, what do you want? Snowball, hot earth. Depends what you like, I guess. How the heck are we gonna get out of this one, you know? And last but not least, the snowball. What's more terrifying than an ice age? A giant snowball. No, not the one that you made to throw at your neighbor. I mean the one that could be our earth. A snowball earth is a very, very terrifying possibility, though probably not as likely. A snowball earth would destroy much of life on earth and sink our entire world into a deep freeze. And it did. The snowball earth was a series of ice ages that occurred during the Neoproterozoic era that were so massive, the entire planet froze over 500 million years ago. Why did it happen? Well, scientists from MIT speculate that it was due to a drop in heat so steep that it triggered a runaway effect. The ice expanded so quickly, the earth didn't have time to recover. This drop in temperature might have been prompted by several volcanic eruptions that happened in quick succession. Scientists are unsure as to whether humans could make this happen, but if it did, we wouldn't be able to stop it. At the speed at which the Earth's atmosphere is changing because of us, who knows what could happen? It could go so far, it goes the other way around. You just don't know. 